Hey guys, welcome to Hotful Boyfriend. It's very quiet again. We're out in the hallway here, about to catch a scandal, as it were. Because now we're gonna do Yuya's route. And this is when we first meet Yuya, ha having a spat with his half brother Sakuya. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years. My brother. You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Such heavy footsteps. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Uh. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Uh. <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Oh, Yuya. So handsome. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. You're kawaii, right? H how did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of fry. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. An aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. No doubt. And on that note, uh, I'll bring you in for when there's... Uh, well, our first choice, I guess. See you in a bit, guys. Alright, time to pick what we're going to be a part of. Um, I think Rosie said before that Yuya was working in the infirmary tent for the sports festival, so I'm assuming he's part of the infirmary staff. Which I'm kind of terrified of, because that means we're going to be with the doctor, and that's terrifying. But this is what we'll try, anyway. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Thank you, sir. I'll try to stay alive. Today's an elective day. Um, I heard it's recommended you do math class for Yuya's route. Don't know why, but I'm gonna follow that suggestion anyway. I would have thought music, but maybe that's just for Sakuya. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Increase that wisdom. Oh, I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry. Ah, you are here. Good. Salutations, Kawaii. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Oh, good grief. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally I do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of. So could you handle this mess for me? Of course! My thanks, Kawaii. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. Did you really have to 
bribe me with that? But sure. Yuya flutters at the door. Did he just ask me out? Nice. Anyway, uh, cleaning. Get to that, girl. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human, or rather, avian experimentation room. Huh? The desk drawer is open and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but... I think I'll not go near the desk, because the doctor's going to be a ninja right behind you. Leave it alone. If the doctor wants to be messy, he can be messy himself. It's fine. I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better to leave it alone. The doctor might show up and turn me into kawaii salami. <laughs> that just sounds so funny. That salami is so kawaii. Hmm. He wasn't there, but maybe he was, and he was just waiting for us. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike? Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... I can't talk to you, yeah. Well, I'll talk to Sakia since he's the brother. Unacceptable. In a temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this? And on foot? It's a hike, Sakia. You have to walk. For what purpose? As exercise. Foolishness. Exercises for peasants. No, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here. Don't we have a nice view? <laughs> Sakio looks like he still has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. That kid. Today's an elective day. Go to math class. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, Chan. Y yes sir. I'll do just that. Uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool! Oko-san will handle the marathon! Indeed, he will! You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Eh. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Oko-san's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? Gosh, I'll have to think about it. Today is a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Library. Uh, first aid tent. Salutations. Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monami? Maybe. Um, I heard the first aid team was shorthanded. Salutations? <laughs> Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why is the game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. 
It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Wow, get roasted. <laughs> Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damage does with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent. I think. We could have gazed into his eyes, though. Missed opportunity. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Oh, I don't think I did too well. Sean! Yes! You worked hard. Keep going just like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! Yeah. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. We can go to the... If we go to the store, we'll run into you, yeah. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. So, these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's, in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya! No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know, we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty, don't you think? That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My love? <laughs> Yuya, that's... we're not... huh? I'm not good enough. Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Oh, I didn't even know there was a thing! Uh, I, well, you know, sir, I'm not one of these... uh, floozies that you can just... romance with words and salutations and so forth. I think it's a little rude, frankly. I think that's a little rude, Yuya. What is? That's sort of loose talk. Like I'm a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. Adieu. Until next time. Selective day. Go to math class. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Cool. And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? Is that a rhetorical question? We should know better. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. What do I wish for this year? Wow, there are lots here already. Anybody I know? Impossible n'est pas français. Est la belle. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. Yuya. Oh! I've got three going on. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember! Why is Nanaki showing up all the time? And what should I wish for? Um, hmm. I like this one. Rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Chan? Mr. Nanaki! 
you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... No, thank you. Come on. Really didn't want me to say no thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Key Mania 2DX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Today's an elective day again. Go to math. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hmm, hard to say. It might never help you at all, Chan. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I am not prepared to accept this. Wisdom increased. We're so wise. Ah, the pool scene. We're having a swimming class with the third years today. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart race. Salutation, Saklia. The wet look suits you well. Do you mock me? Hardly. I'm praising you. I'm proud to have such a handsome little brother. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, mongrel. You probably can't even swim. Ho oh, ho, I wonder. Want to decide who's faster once and for all, little brother? Fool. We already know who the victor will be. But to ignore a challenge would be a disgrace to my name. Very well. Mon ami. Yes? Will you be our judge? I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness. Of course. Just out of curiosity, who do you think will win? Probably... Yuya. I think you'll win, Yuya. You're ripped and Saki is all fluff. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, Saki, she roasted you good. What? Why, thank you, Monami. I'll swim my fastest for you. Mm-hmm. Get set, go! They dive with perfect synchronization. Yikes, they're both fast, even though their skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. It was awfully close, but in the end... Oh. Oh. So... Who won, mon ami? It was almost too close to tell, but... Yuya was a little faster. Ugh. Well, there you have it, little brother. I can hear Sakia grinding his beak in frustration. This... This is some sort of mistake. I demand a rematch. Sure, I'm always happy to take you on. Yuya looks pleased. Maybe he's happy because he got to talk to Sakia. Fat quality brother time. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Kawaii. What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much. Just... Have you heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pigeonations, Kawaii? Uh... Where did this come from? The school even has its own horror stories? Do tell. Yeah. Well, there's one that says that sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary, only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but... Dr. Iwamene is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but... Well, you're a girl, Kawaii. I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Although I think people would notice if there was, like, cooked human on the menu. <laughs> I would hope. Ryota always has been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't keep Yuya waiting. I don't know. Ryota's getting me kind of worried now. Excuse me. Huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? 
This doesn't look too good. Um. Kawaii. There you are, Monami. Kawaii can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Monami. Just what is going on here? It sounds like the Doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... I mean... I hate to think what the Doctor would do to him if I didn't go along with the lie. I'll go, I'm uh... Yeah, I was definitely with you, yeah. I don't quite know what's going on, but I don't like the look on the doctor's face. That's right. Yuya and I were having a sexy and luxurious sunbath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. Did you have to put it that way, girl? Sexy and luxurious it was indeed. Well, doctor. Very well. I shall have to wait for more solid evidence. Please, do be careful. Of course, Doctor. That music. Yuya, what? Forgive me, Monami. I can't explain right now. But, one day. And he's gone. What was that supposed to mean? Is something really happening in this infirmary? I don't know. That Doctor's mighty suspicious, though. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Chon! Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success! Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. I should probably find out if I need to come to school to clean the infirmary at all. Hmm. Cleaning? Well, I will be here just about every day the building is open. But there isn't any real need for you to come, too. There's nothing I could do to help? No. Was there anything else? Um. Oops. I'm just gonna save. If it'll let me. Come on. Don't lag on me. There we go. Um. Oh, do I doubt that the missing students? I don't really want to get eaten, so I'll just say, that's all. Nope, that's all. I will ask you to leave, then. You want an unpleasant companion, but I have many experiments to conduct. I think that's the highest compliment I could have ever been given by the doctor. I got kicked out again, though. What did he mean by experiments, anyway? Like a chemist does? Hopefully he's not cooking students. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation, so we're going to skip through a zombie's thing. Until she tells us to carve it into our soul. Oh, a zombie. <sighs> I might get home faster by walking, girl. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Burns are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at a zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> Dear, dear, dear. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll not do that. Time is not yet. Hmm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more of the high schooler thing to do. Whee! <laughs> Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Oh yeah. 
Salutations, Kawaii. I am honored to act as your escort tonight, my love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Don't worry about it. A gentleman never keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. Wow. That's pretty early. Shall we go, mon ami? That's very early. A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Kawaii, lest the crowd separate us. Should I be taking your wing? Eh? Don't tell me you're a hand-holding virgin. Better late than never. You were the one who invited me. Okay. Um... Okay. His feathers are... soft. Wow, so romantic. This was fun, Kawaii. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Um, Yuya. What is it? Do you want to play some more? The night is yet young, and if dangerous games are your desire, I will accompany you. Th that's not what I meant. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. Just my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lie to Dr. Iwamine? Hello? <laughs> ah, flashback. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Kawaii. Ah, yes. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I hadn't seen you before I went into the infirmary. But you told the doctor that we'd been together. Why? That was... a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. Oh yeah? You knew I was lying then. So why did you play along? Because... the doctor looked mad? I felt like if I didn't help you, he was going to do something to you. Hey, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Sorry, mon ami. Your hunter-gatherer instincts are too much for me. But yes, if you hadn't helped me back then... I'd probably be in little plastic bags in the freezer by now. Oh no. But that's not funny. Indeed, it isn't funny at all. And it's not a joke. <laughs> Please, give me a straight answer, Yuya. That was a straight answer. I'm always straight, in love. Almost always. You're speaking in riddles now. No, I meant... Uh, Kawaii, could you do me a favor? What now? You're just trying to avoid the question again. Shh. Listen. I'll only say this once. Huh? What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around almost nervously. I'm sorry, Monami. It looks like we had better split up. Can you get home all right by yourself? Uh, of course I... Good girl. We'll part ways as soon as we reach that intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. The night rows are laden with traps. Be careful. Adieu, mon ami. He turns briskly and disappears into a narrow alley. What on earth is going on? He told me not to look back, but... Ah! What the heck? A gunshot? Later that night, he sent me an email. Yuya, what are you mixed up in? Did you make it home in one piece? I'll be visiting in your dreams, one of me, so sleep well. The message bears no trace of the tension I felt in him earlier. Are you all right, Yuya? He really is, mysterious bird. I think I'll assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries of Saint Pigeonations. Huh.